Hi, I'm Tom Johnson. Today we're going to talk about the importance of your earth orientation parameters or your EOP in SDK and ODTK. So when we think about earth orientation parameters, what we're really trying to describe is what is the relative orientation of the earth or whatever our central body is that we're, we're working with um, relative to inertial space. And so if you imagine, we, we think of as uh, what we call a central body fixed frame, which is locked to the central body that we're on and rotating with it. And then we usually have some sort of inertial frame. We call it a CBI, central body inertial. So typically, you know, these, we, that when we're working with the earth and, uh, and, and most commonly um, uh, common inertial frames, usually what we think of as for central body fix is what we call earth centered fixed or ECF. And then we have our central body inertial frame which typically we're using something like, you'll hear J2000 or the more modern ICRF, the International Celestial Reference Frame. Okay. And what we're really trying to do now is on, with our EOP parameters is understand the transformation at any point in time to get from our ECF frame to our ICF, ICRF frame and back. So what's going on? The ICRF frame is an inertial frame. It's fixed in space relative to, to the, the, the sun and the stars and, and, and everything else. It's sort of an, an unchanging orientation. There's a lot more subtleties to it than that, but at, at a surface level, that's kind of the way to, to picture it. But our central body fixed, or our Earth ECF frame, is here locked on the Earth, and the Earth is moving through space. Uh, and so if I think of you know, the top-down view of the Earth here, and I'm looking down the North Pole. Um, most commonly, we know the Earth is moving because we're rotating, right? So the Earth is rotating, looking like this, okay? And so at any instant in time, if I want to understand, let's say there's a star over here, somewhere way off, infinitely far in space in, in our inertial frame. And I can imagine that I can draw a vector to that star and as I'm sitting here on the Earth, my view of that star is off this way, or my satellite, I should say. Uh, I'll, call it, I'll call this a satellite. And then as the Earth rotates, now maybe I'm over here, and I'm looking at it over in this direction. Okay. And so the, the Earth-centered fr fixed frame is rotating relative to inertial space. And I need to understand that, 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 uh, how that's changing as a function of time. So the, the Earth rotation is kind of the most gross, largest effect everybody understands. And we, and we know the uh, Earth's rotation rate. Um, it's not quite constant. It does change slightly over time, which is where we start getting into things like leap seconds. And that's a whole other discussion. Um, but on top of the pure Earth rotation, it turns out that the uh, spin axis of the Earth isn't really through the, the, the geometric north, but it turns out that there's some additional subtle effects where we have precession, which is that the, the, um, the spin axis can be off from true, the true north or direct north a little bit, and that spin axis can mutate, and so the position of it might be doing something like this over the course of time. And so what our Earth orientation parameters are doing for us is describing these additional subtle effects, um, where this can be you know, on the order of 30 meters or so uh, difference in, in, the, uh, in the magnitude here. Now, why does this all matter? It sounds like, well, who cares? It's, you know, it's just a couple, a couple of meters. But when we're talking about doing measurements to other objects, like uh, my satellite or something else, and I'm starting to use pretty high accuracy uh, measurements, such as I'm going to shoot a laser at this object and bounce a signal off and coming back, where that laser measurement may be good to a centimeter or, or better accuracy. Well, it doesn't matter how good that measurement is if I don't actually understand the orientation of the Earth relative to the inertial frame. And so the Earth orientation parameters matter, and it's one of those things where we have to keep updating them and, uh, and keeping our, our SDK and ODTK models uh, up to date so that we get the proper representation so we can actually transform from earth center fix to ICRF. Uh, now, you would think that, okay, well, TJ, you just said that this looks, it changes like this and we can model that. Can't we just, you know, use an equation to predict that forward in the future? And you can to a certain extent, 
But the problem is, is that this behavior is governed by the uh, underlying uh, dynamics of the, uh, how the surface and the, or the interior of the Earth is changing over time. And this is a topic of much research and trying to predict that. And so what happens is we constantly keep remeasuring this, updating the models, publishing new data. And so you want to make sure that you use your data update utility to keep everything current. Thank you.